So today is going to be a super quick video because we are getting ready to go out of town to Brooks Ortho appointment and I have a lot of shopping and errands to do, but I just had to tell you about Neville. There was one day when he was totally out of it. He was sleeping. He couldn't even lift up his head. And if I touched him, you know, he would wake up, open up his eyes, but then he'd go right back to sleep. And um, so I picked him up and I went ahead and gave him his medicine anyway. And then I put him over next to his water and I actually had to hold his head and, you know, dip his beak in the water. And every time I did that, he would go ahead and drink. But then right after that, he would fall asleep again. And I kept doing that until he was done drinking. Once a chicken reaches that point, the outcome is generally not expected to be too good. So anyway, we left him there that evening, and I was really, really sad. And then the next day I came out, and he was actually holding up his head and looking around. And I went ahead and gave him his meds, and I stood him up, and he was able to stand up and drink water. And he actually walked over to his food dish, and he actually ate. And um, I was so excited. And so I went up, and I saw my mom, and I told her, I said, you know, you'll never believe, but Neville's actually standing now, and he's actually up and everything. And she's like, "Oh my gosh, what? Well, that's a relief." Um, she and her and my niece had said a prayer about him the night before, and um, it was just so sweet. He's been eating and drinking really well, so that is one reason why I've continued to treat him because. If a chicken is really sick and down and out, they won't be eating and drinking the way he does. So as long as he keeps that up, I'm going to keep treating him. So I did some research online, which I've been researching and researching and researching, but I did more research. And um, I read that somebody had had problems with their turkeys and chickens at various times having problems with their legs and standing up and stuff like that. So they recommended giving them infant vitamins with no iron in them. And so I went to town and I looked and I could not find any baby vitamins around here that didn't have iron in them. I could order them over the internet, but I couldn't find them here. So I decided to go to the, the feed store and I ended up getting Rooster Booster, which after looking at that, it has a lot of iron in it. So I'm pretty sure that the baby vitamins that had the iron in it probably would have worked other than if the iron to vitamin ratio or whatever might have been too much for him. And then I decided to try some Batril because that was the medicine that the vet had given our chickens and turkeys at various other times when they were sick. And um, it seemed to help them really well. Normally whenever he is doing great, he is pretty feisty and he won't let us catch him. And um, he's skittish and all of that. And so when I first started giving him his medicine, he, and he was just laying there, it was super easy to give it to him. But yesterday, boy, his feistiness has started to come back. And it took me forever to wrestle him down and give him his pills and his vitamins and all of that. So since then, I decided to give him his medicine in tart cherries. And the reason I'm going to do tart cherries is because um, they are good for inflammation and stuff like that. At least in humans they are. I don't know about chick if they work the same way in chickens, but I figured at least it's worth a try. And so I took a few tart cherries and poked his pills in them, and then I ha added a few more tart cherries with a little bit of garlic in them. Because garlic, I know, is also good for circulation and for inflammation, and it's good antibiotic and stuff like that. So I did that, and then I added his vitamins over the top of them. Those vitamins just don't taste very well. I might have to go make him some more and leave off the vitamins because last night I did that and he just harfed each one of them up just as quick as he could. Oh, Neville, you just need to eat them.
There we go. Good job. Maybe if I move them out of the vitamin juice, that might help. There you go, Neville. Is that better? Got two more to eat. I just don't know if he's going to fully recover or not yet. He's got a long ways to, to that, but at least he's doing a lot better than what he was a few days ago, and it makes me very happy.